So I just finished creating up this system that I've been working on. Um, it's a three zone combi system that'll be used for a pretty large pole barn. Uh, the customer has a big shop area as well as an office area. So one of the zones is gonna be for the office. Uh, these two pumps will cover the entire shop area. It's a very large building. Um, he's got multiple manifolds that'll cover all the piping. So we ran uh, two pumps for that entire shop area. One thermostat will control that entire building. Um, at least for in the shop area, the, the office will have its own, um, but the thermostat will get wired into here and then it's just jumpered over um, from zone two to zone three. So that way the one thermostat will control both pumps for the shop. Um, it's a combi, so it has all the isolation valves installed for the domestic hot water as well. Uh, here's the returns over here. The Naviclean also we installed in here. I'm actually going to ship this loose because it's uh, I don't want it to get in the way of hitting this wood during shipment to damage anything. Uh, so yeah, I just uh, wrap everything, make a pallet out of the entire system, um, and box everything up. We'll throw some OSB on top, uh, screw it all together, get the paperwork done, and ship this one out of here. And we'll uh, move on to the next build. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I love answering all your guys' questions and hearing from you. Um, if you would like me to build you a system, uh, my contact information will be in the description below. Um, I could also consult you on your own build, provide piping diagrams, parts lists, or if you need any recommendations or advice on your own system, uh, just let me know. And uh, like this video if you haven't yet, click a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to us because we have tons of videos going on. Um, I have a lot of videos you can check out on a lot of these different builds, different orientations, configurations. I explain how to size boilers, how to size circulators, and go through a lot of different components involved in this. Um, go ahead, check those out, and we'll see you guys on the next one.